Welcome back to Tafa Repairs. How do you know you have a bad torque converter clutch solenoid? When the torque converter clutch solenoid fails, there will be no transmission slip. When there is no transmission slip, you'll notice your vehicle stalling when coming to a stop. When the transmission is unable to slip, that's because the torque converter clutch solenoid is stuck in the open position. The next time that you know that the torque converter clutch solenoid is failing is RPM fluctuation. If you notice the RPM is fluctuating like this, then you know the torque converter clutch solenoid is failing. When your torque converter clutch solenoid fails, this can cause the vehicle to go into limp mode and this will limit vehicle speed and will be stuck in second or third gear. The next time that you know that your torque converter clutch solenoid is failing is you're going to get some sort of code. For example, you're going to get P2770 P0742, P0743, P0744, and P1860, and so on. Based on my experience, when a TC solenoid fell, this may or may not cause the transmission to overheat. Maybe about 90% of the time, the transmission is not going to overheat. And also, when a TC solenoid fell, this may or may not affect gas mileage. About 50% of the time, when you're getting a TC solenoid code, most likely, the solenoid is probably not bad, but I'm going to explain why. There are a lot of reasons why the TC solenoid can fail, and the number one reason is going to be the screen over here. If the screen becomes clogged, the fluid cannot flow through it, and this will trigger that TCC code. Also, if the TCC solenoid is extremely old, naturally it's going to fail from natural wear and tear, and it can become shorted, and this will cause the CC solenoid to fail as well. It's also possible you can have a wire issue, but most likely that's not going to be the case. The most likely case is going to be caused by, again, a clogged screen or the uh, TC solenoid failed internally. How do you test for a bad TC solenoid? You can always try to energize it by applying 12 volt and listen for a clicking noise. You can also look inside the hole and watch it plunge in and out. And that's one way to test for a bad TCC solenoid. The next test is to check for resistance. Set your multimeter to ohms and a good TCC solenoid should read between 10 ohms to 30 ohms. If it's between 10 ohms to 30 ohms, you have a good TC solenoid. If the reading falls below 10 or it goes greater than 30, most likely your TC solenoid is bad. But of course, you should always check manufacturer specification to be sure. I hope you found today's lesson helpful. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe to Tough Hour Repairs.